What's up guys, born for here, and with Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain less than a week away, I wanted to give you guys a quick and easy guide for unlocking the primary hidden content uh, locked away in Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. This is of course the two secret missions that can be played once you collect all nine of the XOF unit patches in the main story mode. Please note that you must collect all patches in a single playthrough for this to work, so that may involve you deleting your current save file and playing the story mode all over again. So without further ado, let's get started. The first patch you'll find on the cliffs, just where you began, if you take a few steps backward towards the edge of the cliff, which Snake just scaled, you will find one of the patches there. The second one is a bit harder to find. It's in the south end of the West Refugee Camp, so that camp just inside the main compound to your west, with all those tents in a row. That's the one you'll want to go to. Once you rummage around a bit, you'll find the patch on a heap of trash, and if you take note of where I am currently as displayed in the iDroid, you'll be able to go straight there no problem. Third patch is found in a small fenced-in area with a group of power transformers. This compound is in the warehouse area on the north side. Once you're there, you'll have to pick the lock all sneaky like and climb on top of the one on the far left. What do you know, it's an XOF patch. These are getting into weirder and weirder places to be sure, but let's move on. The fourth patch is an easy one. Just climb on top of the little roadside guard hut directly across from the prison camp. You know, the one with Chico and the other yellow-clad prisoners in cages. It'll be there. Patch number five is really close to that, as it's right inside the gate of the prison camp itself. It is easy to overlook this one, however, because it kind of blends in with the dirt. So aren't you lucky you found this video? Patch number six is in that little secret drainage tunnel just north of the helipad by the main base. You know, the one with the LAV parked in front of the gate with the alarm. Climb down in there and you'll see the patch peeking out from behind an iron grate. Patch seven is on the helipad itself. Shoot for the helipad that's just south of the orange wind flag, the one in the middle of all four landing pads. It's just kind of sitting there waiting to get blown away or else picked up by crazy anal gamers like yourself who just have to find everything. Patch eight is probably the trickiest one of the bunch. You'll need to find your way into the east wing of the administrative building. Easiest way to locate this area is to face the main gate, the one guarded by the LEV and the alarm, and look at the wall to your right. There will be an orange door there and that's where you'll want to go in. In order to get on top of the building with a patch, you'll actually have to jump on one of these steel box units and do a sort of running ledge grab. Once you're up there, you can see the patch pretty easily on top of the AC fan. Lastly, the ninth patch can be found simply by rolling around a determined number of times during the game. All of your rolls during the course of the game will consecutively add up until you reach this unknown number. But you can also just roll around in place until you get a fancy cutscene showing you that one of the XOF patches has dropped from the helicopter and landed right in your belt, just waiting to pop up and be picked up. Who would have known? Well, that's all for today, guys. Once more, just remember that this patch collecting process has to be completed on the first playthrough of the main story mission on your save file. So if you've already played through the game and didn't notice all those patches, then you'll have to delete your save file and get them all in one go. Please note that it's okay if you die or need to save the game and start back from a checkpoint later on. That's fine, just as long as you get all nine patches on that initial go. Hope that was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. It helps me out, and I will see you as always in the next episode.